In this demonstration, I'll show you how to find the resultant vector of two vectors separated by a known angle. The question reads, two vectors A and B make an angle of 47.2 degrees with each other, as shown below. If their magnitudes are A is equal to 125 and B is equal to 146, find the magnitude of the resultant R and the angle that makes up R with vector B. So this angle right here. In a situation like this, you have to use prior knowledge to derive what, what it is that they're looking for. Now you'll notice that we have two vectors and they are separated by 47.2 degrees and the resultant vector will be somewhere here using the tail to tip method. For example, if I were to take this vector and place it right here, that's where the resultant vector would lie. In addition to that, if we were to place it here hypothetically, the angle that makes up this artificial line with this extended line would also be 47.2 degrees. All we've done is shifted this vector over. And as a result of that, we can find out this greater angle by subtracting 180 from 47.2 degrees. And if we do that, we end up with 180 minus 47.2, which is equal to 132.8 degrees. So this angle right here, this obtuse angle is 132.8 degrees. In total, if we were to regard, take these three lines, this triangle, it's an obtuse triangle. Given that it's an obtuse triangle, you use the sine law or the cosine law. So to give you a better understanding of what I'm talking about, I'm just going to redraw what I see here. And what I see is a line that is 146 units long and another line that's 125 units long. And we have an angle that separates the two at 132.8 degrees. The last line looks like this. And if we find the length of this line, the resultant vector, we will end up finding the magnitude of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this A, B, and C. I'm going to label the vertices A, B, and C. And I'm going to find little b. The situation we have here is side angle side. So you have to determine which of the rules do you use. Do you, do you use the sine law or do you use the cosine law? In one of our previous videos, we learned that when you have side angle side, you tend to use the cosine law. And the cosine law looks like this. B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine big B. So let's figure this out. Let's plug in everything we know. We don't know this long side, so I'm just going to keep that the way it is. We do know little a. We do know little c. 2 times a, which is 125 times 146. Cosine big B is 132.8 degrees. And we're going to plug this into our calculator and see what we get. 125 squared plus 146 squared minus 2 times 125, 146. Cosine 132.8. And we end up with this huge number, which is expected. 61740. Let's carry a few decimal places. And we're going to square root both sides to isolate for B. So the square root of this number is equal to 248. Point four seven. So the length of B, the magnitude of this resultant vector, is going to be 
0.47 units long. We still have to find the angle that makes up the resultant vector with vector b. So what we're going to do is replace this b with 248.47. And now what we have to do is find out this angle. Now that's not so hard. We have a lot of information here to work with. We want to find out what this is. And we have side, side, side. Side, side, side. We have all three sides. And once again, you can use the cosine law to find out what this angle is. Let me demonstrate what I mean. I'm just going to separate these two here. And since we're looking for angle A, we're going to use this version of the cosine law. And it doesn't hurt to memorize them. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine big A. And we're looking for big A and we have everything that we need. We have little a at 125 squared, little b which we just found at 248.47, and little c at 146 squared minus 2 times 248.47 times 146 cosine a. Now, some students find these types of cosine law questions difficult because they have a hard time solving for A. What I recommend doing is taking this and this term over. And of course, they're going to become negative. So we end up with 125 squared minus 248.47 squared minus 146 squared is equal to the remainder One forty six, and I apologize for the small writing. What I'll do is slightly bring this over. There you are. Now, what we'll do is divide both sides by negative two times two forty eight point four seven. times 146 and that cancels this out on the left side and on the right side we also do the same negative 2 times 248.47 146 and this will give us cosine a well, let's figure this out 125 squared minus 248.47 squared minus 146 squared divided by negative 2 times 248.47 times 146 is equal to 0 0.9293. It's always proper to keep four decimal places when you are using the inverse cosine function, which we're going to use next. That said, inverse cosine of 0 0.9293 will give us angle A at 21.6 degrees. So, looking back, the angle that makes up this resultant vector with vector B is equal to 21.6 degrees. So there you have it. That is how to find the resultant vector of two vectors that are separated by an angle. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.